This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to set a file on every new user's desktop. I've been asked if there's a way to add a file, folder, or icon onto every user's desktop on the Mac for places like Computer Labs. There are a couple of caveats with this method, though. First, this will only apply to new users created on the machine. Any existing users will not have your file appear on their desktops. That's because we're going to be adding our file to the user templates folder, which is what new accounts on the Mac are created from. There is no shared desktop folder among all users like there is on Windows. So if you're going along with this process, it is best to do this when you're first setting up the Mac and before you deploy it. With those out of the way, let's get started. First, you'll need to open a new finder window and pull up the go to folder option, either by hitting command, shift, and G on the keyboard, or by hitting go in the menu bar and then selecting the go to folder option, which is second from the bottom. Next, you'll want to type in the following forward slash library, forward slash user, space, template, forward slash. And you'll be taken to a list of folders that end in .lproj. And start either with a language name, examples being Dutch.lproj or Japanese.lproj, or an abbreviation, such as ar.lproj for Arabic or en underscore gb lproj for British English. Which folder you want is dependent on the region you selected for your Mac. If you're American, using English like me, then you'll double click on English.lproj. You will always see a folder labeled Library, but depending on what version of macOS you have, you may see some others as well, including the Desktop folder. If you don't see that folder, then no worries. Most modern versions of macOS won't have the Desktop folder present, but that's okay, because you're just going to make it. Right click in any of the space within the language folder and click new folder. Name it desktop. Now drag the file or folder you want every account to have into that desktop folder and you're done. Older versions of macOS will still have this desktop folder option present, but you won't have access to it. Not to worry, we're going to grant your user account access, so long as your account is an admin and allow you to make changes. Right click on the desktop folder and click Get Info. A new window will pop up on the left hand side of the screen. Scroll down until you see Sharing and Permissions near the bottom and hit the drop down arrow to open it up if it isn't already. It should now show you what accounts have access to it and how much access, such as read only, read and write, etc. Click the padlock icon in the bottom right corner and type in your admin password to unlock it. Once it's unlocked, Hit the plus icon in the bottom left corner of the screen, and in the new window, select your account, then hit select in the bottom right corner. You'll be taken back to the get info window, and you should see your account listed as read only next to the name of your user account. Click read only and change it to read and write. Once you've done that, you can hit the padlock icon again to lock the pane, then close out of this window. Now. Double clicking on the desktop icon will let you open it and drag files in and out of it. Drag the file or folder you want every account to have access to into that desktop folder and you're done. Now that you've added your file or folder, all you need to do is test it. As previously mentioned, any user accounts already set up on the Mac won't have this file enabled. Only accounts created from here on. If you want to make sure this works, you'll need to make a new account. If you're using a domain login like Active Directory, logging in with a new set of domain credentials will work. Otherwise, you'll need to create a new user account from under Users and Groups option in the System Preferences app. Assuming you did everything right, when you log into that new account, you'll see the file on the desktop. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website easyosx.net as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.